and I'm grinding Green plug, hit my perfect time I know I'm right, I'm not wrong What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel If you not already have subscribed, please click off this video, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell that way you know every single time that I'm about to post. So today we're going to be talking about the tragic and mysterious death of Kendrick Johnson. Kendrick Johnson was from Georgia and he attended Lowndes High School. Now he was a very athletic kid. He wasn't that outgoing but Kendrick was well liked at his school. On January 11th, 2013, Kendrick Johnson was found dead, rolled up in a gym mat at his own high school. Now, the difference with this story is the circumstances surrounding this case are still unknown. Nobody really knows what happened to Kendrick. Nobody has even been charged in Kendrick's death. And the crazy part about this, this was 2013, so this was years ago, and nobody has still been even held accountable for what happened to Kendrick. Now, on January 10th, 2013 Kendrick was seen on surveillance camera um, running around the gym he was playing basketball now at first it seems like it's only about two kids there and you see Kendrick run in and out of the frame Kendrick kind of jumps in and out of frame so you really can't tell if the video is edited or not so on the video you see Kendrick in the gym and then you see other people coming in the gym as well but then the camera jumps now, this video is very important because this will be the last time Kendrick was seen alive. Boy walking through this school gym. He's captured here on surveillance camera, then disappears until... From the Lounge High School now, there's a dead body out here. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson was found upside down in a rolled gym mat last January. Investigators say he was reaching for a shoe, got stuck, and died. This gym footage was taken around 1 p.m. Kendrick would have still had another class after this. What's very important is Kendrick never made it to that other class. Now, this, like I said, this is around 1 p.m. So after school, Kendrick never returned home. So his mom really wasn't that worried because he usually stays after school sometimes. And this particular night, she knew it was a game. She really wasn't worried about him coming home, but like around 10 or 11, when she hadn't heard from Kendrick, hadn't seen Kendrick, she got kind of worried. So his mom went to his school and just drove around. You know how parents ride around just to see, okay, I'm gonna see if I see them first. And she didn't see Kendrick anywhere. So she went home and called the police. Now, one thing that you guys are gonna see a lot of in these true crime videos is CPS fails kids every day. And police really don't take things serious until it's too late. So in this case, of course, police was like, just give it time. He's a teenager. He's a boy. He might, you know. But, you know, his mom was just like, this is not like my son. He does not move like this. He doesn't act like this. So the, the police took in the report or whatever. And the next morning, he, the next morning, he, his mom was still worried. So she was about to go to his school. Now, as she was about to go to his school, she received a phone call saying Kendrick was found dead. The details surrounding this is very sketchy. So allegedly, the kids that came into the gym to go to gym class that morning had saw a sock sticking out of the mat. That's when they went over and looked and they could smell something that just did not smell right. And that's when they saw Kendrick's body. The gym teacher then cleared out the gym and authorities were notified. That's when they identified him as Kendrick. Now you guys, the thing about this whole gym mat situation is Kendrick and one of his friends would share shoes. So sometimes kids will leave the shoes or the clothes or whatever they share in these mats. So a lot of times they will leave a pair of shoes in there, the other person to go get the other pair of shoes, you know, and switch out. Other kids did this as well. The problem is to, to really rule something as an accident, you should have a lot of evidence to basically support that claim. And they did it. A lot of evidence actually supported to foul play when you really look at it. Because if Kendrick's shoulders were too wide to just fall in, somebody had to have rolled him up. But like I said, investigators really did not try to even look further into this. Now, it's being said that Kendrick was basically beefing, if you want to say. A lot of people know what beefing means. People say that Kendrick was beefing with two brothers. So it's being said that um, Kendrick had beef with two brothers, Brandon and Brian Bell. Now, it said that Kendrick was dating one of their girlfriends and that they had gotten into like an altercation before. And a lot of people report that it was always tension between the two. 
But the two guys, the two brothers did interviews and they are saying that they had nothing to do with Kendrick's death and they are saying that they were cool with Kendrick. But y'all, it's people that then commented on Instagram. It's people that's posted Facebook posts saying that no, they were not cool. They were anything but cool. Of Kendrick Johnson. No sort. Nor me or my family had anything to do with his death. Both Bells maintain they have rock solid alibis. Where were you? I was in class. Videos, pictures, and theories abound online about what happened. Some involving school surveillance video. We talked to Brandon Bell about his appearance. I was uh, changing clothes before I had to leave for the uh, wrestling tournament that we were going to. And I went in there to check my weight the first time. I changed and then um, the shirt that was assumed to have blood on it that they had circled and said blood. It actually said RLX, it's a type of polo. So why would these brothers lie as if they were cool with Kendrick when they knew they really weren't? Were they trying to hide something? All right, so after all of this is going on, his parents are like, okay, we really not having an easy feeling about this. Like, I don't feel like this is an accident. Another thing to know is one of the brothers that was beefing with Kendrick was supposed to be gone to a game. Now, the, uh, one of the brothers was accounted for in his class, but the other brother was supposed to be gone to a game. The crazy thing about this is, nobody can honestly say what time the brother left the school. So he could have been at this school when Kendrick was there. He could have been there when Kendrick got rolled up in his mat. We don't know. Kendrick's family hired a private investigator because they did not feel at ease about the situation. Once hiring this private investigator, they had Kendrick's body exhumed, meaning they had him dug up so they can do another autopsy. Now, this autopsy showed that Kendrick had blunt force trauma to the neck. Athlete's bizarre death at his high school in Valdosta, Georgia. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson was found dead, his face battered in this rolled up gym mat at his high school in January. Police said that Kendrick suffocated trying to grab a shoe, but his parents didn't buy that. They said there is no way that this that this is a cover up, that they have the pictures to prove it. And the Justice Department recently confirmed it is taking a second look at the, ca the case here. Now we have gotten word that Johnson's body will be exhumed for a second autopsy. So somebody could have hit him in the neck, somebody could have done something to him and then rolled him up in his mat. And earlier I said, it's crazy that somebody that age would not scream if they got stuck in the mat. Maybe somebody hit him so hard in his neck that he couldn't talk or couldn't speak. Now that's something that people can think about as well because I mean, I just can't see a 17 year old getting rolled up in a mat and not crying for help. Somebody had to hurt him before he got inside this mat. So after the autopsy and all of this stuff going on, Kendrick's family fought and fought and fought to try to have his case reopened. All right, so when Kendrick's family had his body exhumed, it was said that his body was stuffed with newspapers, meaning all of his organs were gone. Now, when the sheriff's office was questioned about this, they said that Kendrick's organs was like destroyed to the point of no return. You couldn't use them. So if the organs were destroyed, why take them out? Now, if you had to told me, okay, so the organs were in good shape, so we tried to give them to somebody or tried to save them for another person, I get that. But to blankly say the organs were messed up, so you had to throw them away, that does not make sense because his body is going in the ground. So why does it matter if his organs are messed up? That right there was a red flag. But um, sadly, the county that they live in denied it and said that they saw no reason to pursue anything criminal about this case. They really feel like Kendrick just fell into this mat and they feel like Kendrick, you know, just met a bad fate. And I don't feel like that and millions of Americans don't feel like that. I wanted to cover this case because I really feel bad for his family. I feel as if some type of justice needs to be done. If it's not from that school, it's from the sheriff's office. I mean, even down to the boys, Brandon and I think Brandon and Brian Bell, I want to say that. Even down to them, this case needs to be heard because something happened to Kendrick Johnson. Something happened on January 11, 2013, and somebody needs to come forward. All right, so let's talk about Brandon and Brian Bell. Brandon and Brian Bell are two brothers that went to school with Kendrick. Now, Brandon and Brian Bell, they say that they were very close to Kendrick, but other kids that went to the school are saying that that's the farthest from the truth. They're saying that Brandon and Brian Bell 
were not even cool because Kendrick was dating allegedly one of their girlfriends. My only angle is to find justice for my son. But the Bell's civil attorneys, Patrick O'Connor and Bryce Ladson, say the July 21st search warrants sought text messages, emails and the like, relevant to alleged witness tampering and obstruction of justice. Is it possible you were involved in any witness tampering or obstruction? No, sir. In no possible way whatsoever. Have you obstructed justice in any way? No. Have you tampered with any witnesses? tried to influence anybody, tried to stop somebody from talking in the Kendrick Johnson investigation. Now, it's even being said that they got into a horrible, horrible argument and even almost fought. So the fact that they're lying and doing interviews saying that they were cool with Kendrick, y'all, that raised a lot of eyebrows. Not only that, their dad is in law enforcement in the same as that county. So it could be very much that one of these boys did something to Kendrick and I mean, they just don't feel like they're going to ever get caught. And Kendrick Johnson's mom feels like she's in a nightmare that won't end. Kendrick gives me strength. You know, he was our baby. He was my son. The Lowndes County Sheriff says after a thorough investigation, his office agrees with the state medical examiner that Johnson's death was an accident due to positional asphyxia, that he wedged himself in a rolled up gym mat trying to reach a shoe and could not get out. I would imagine practically every one of your viewers sat scratching their head and that's why i do these videos to bring light and because somebody might know brandon somebody might know brian and be like oh okay well this day i saw something i saw them at the school this day when they were supposed to be somewhere else you never know who could have seen something all right another thing that i want to add before i end this video is the day that kendrick allegedly fell into this mat this was a school day so I'm trying to understand how nobody found Kendrick in this mat until the very next day. Because you have practices, you have gym class, and I think it was even a game supposedly that night. I'm trying to understand how Kendrick's body was not found until the very next day. That's that's one of the biggest things that points out that stands out to me as well. Um I really want y'all feedback on this case. Please comment below and let me know if you have any extra information you wanna put out there please comment below and just tell me your thoughts i really want to interact with you guys and know how you feel about the case as well um another thing is everything in this video is alleged and everything that i report on or post in my videos is public information um as of right now there is nobody arrested or charged with the murder of kendrick johnson and police closed the case but nevertheless a case can get reopened and new facts come out about people every day. Some cases don't get solved to 40, 50 years later. And that's why I'm here to make sure that it's attention brought on these cases every day. Thank you guys for listening and watching my video. Bye-bye.